My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Get you hitting the ball like you used to. Mm -hmm. Now that is not the same person in any way, shape, or form. Now, as soon as you go back to hitting at full speed and not practicing this in slow motion, what you're going to get is your old swing where you go back. You can see the shaft is too flat. That's on a 40 degree angle. Whereas when you keep the handle in, you cock it up on a much higher angle. That's probably 70, 76. Now from there, when you start your downswing, you're going to make that lateral movement. Your hips are going to start to shift. And how do you do that? Push off your back foot like you're pushing off to throw a baseball. You've got to push off that back leg, and you're going to drive your lower body forward. And that drops the club down. And now your shoulders are still turned, whereas from the top here, your first move is you throw the club out with your shoulders. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hit some balls with you doing this, and I think you're going to see a big change. It's going to be really, uh, you're going to hit the ball with a lot more power with less effort. I'm coming down. I'm, I'm, I'm up here. I move. Yeah. What happens is, so, go so when you, yeah, as you keep your shoulders and hips turned, you're just going to make that shift. You know, if you batted, and I said swing to right field, in order to do that, you'd have to keep everything turned. Mm -hmm. So, shifting without rotating is the key, right? So, the handle in, as you start down, shift, but see, everything's still turned. My hips are still remain rotated, yeah. my shoulders are still turned, my back's still to the target. <laughs> Instead of... Yeah, jerk it down from the top. Yeah, you throw it with your hands, you throw it with your shoulders, your right shoulder works out, you unwind from the top. So if you unwind with your trunk first, you're going to throw the club out. But, I mean, just a takeaway change will we'll we'll get the club to shallow out anyway. 